Down, 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 down. Thank you. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, I'm Luke, bike shop manager here with Competitive Cyclist. So you bought a new mountain bike in the last couple years and now it's time to upgrade. We have an awesome list of components here to make your experience that much better. Starting with tires. So tires are the best way to get a noticeable difference in the way that your bike rides for relatively cheap, comparatively speaking to some of the other things we're gonna look at here. There is a number of different brands, uh, casings, tread compounds, tread designs. We have three of our favorites here that we're gonna talk about, starting with the Vittoria Sierra. This is a, they claim is a down country specific tire. It's a 20, this specific one is a 29 by 2.4. It uses their graphene rubber compound, and then it has a interesting tread, which is a pretty short, pretty widely spaced tread on the top of the tread. And then as you lean over onto the side knobs, it actually gets relatively aggressive. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you a pretty fast rolling tire. So for your more cross country oriented rider, but at the same time, if you decide to get a little bit more aggressive with your cornering or you know, decide to get on some chunkier trails, leaning that uh, tire over is gonna give you plenty of grip. Next, we have the Specialized Butcher. This is the Grid Trail T9, which is the most recent iteration of the Butcher. This is billed as a all-mountain slash enduro, could even be used for a downhill tire. Um, it could be used as a front or rear specific tire. Uh, this particular one has a relatively aggressive tread pattern, as you can see, pretty tall knobs, uh, widely spaced, so they're gonna be pretty good at shedding mud if you ride in wetter climates, but also pretty good at gripping through dusty conditions if you ride in drier climates. Lastly, we have a shop favorite here. This is the Maxis Asagai. This specific one is the 3C Max Terra with XO Plus. Uh, XO Plus is the casing design, which is gonna give you a uh, comprehensive edge-to-edge -edge protection uh, with, against flats. It has a pretty aggressive uh, tread spacing, pretty similar to the Minion DHF, which is a crowd favorite across the world, uh, but adds some extra knobs to give you a little bit better transition when you're rolling from the center of the tread off to the side. Next are dropper posts. Most people at this point who ride mountain bikes are familiar with what a dropper post is and how it's really changed how mountain bikes ride in the last five or six years. We're gonna talk about some specific options that are considered to be pretty groundbreaking. Uh, the first one is the Fox Transfer SL. This is a super light dropper post that's designed specifically for the cross country and light trail crowd. Um, it's only offered in a limited number of compressions, so you're not gonna get as much travel out of this one because it is so much lighter, but you can drop a about half of a pound off of your bike compared to a standard dropper post with this one. Then the next one we have is one that a lot of you are probably familiar with. This is the RockShox Reverb Axis. This is a wirelessly actuated dropper post. Um, the nice thing about that is number one, you don't have a hydraulic line to worry about, which can be a little finicky at times and can run into issues where you have to bleed them. And then the other nice thing is that it really cleans up your cockpit because you don't have a hose or a cable coming out uh, in front of your handlebars. Next, we're gonna talk about forks. Uh, why should you upgrade your fork? Well, the main reason is that your fork is what suspends your front wheel, which controls the steering on your bike. So if you have a better fork, you're gonna get better control out of your bike. You're also gonna get more capability out of it. So you're gonna get the ability to go bigger, hit bigger things, go through chunky lines, and, and really maintain the confidence that you, that you have built over the last year's riding. This first fork we have is the RockShox Zeb Ultimate. This is a 38 mil stanchion fork that has travel adjustable from 150 all the way up to 190. Uh, it's designed for more enduro and even downhill crowd. Uh, Brandon Semenuk actually won Red Bull Rampage on one of these uh, this last year. So this fork has a debonair, RockShox's debonair air spring, which is designed to give you really smooth plush travel in the initial stroke, but then also ramp up relatively well. And then it has a really, really adjustable uh, charger damper that gives you high speed and low speed compression adjustment and then also rebound adjustment on the bottom. Okay, now let's talk about the other fork in this segment that a lot of us here competitive cyclists enjoy. This is the Fox 38. Like its name, the 38, this also has 38 millimeter stanchions. 
Uh, it's designed with similar travel lengths in mind, similar style of rider. Uh, so you're more enduro, bigger, more aggressive style of riding. Um, you could even race downhills on this fork as well. Um, this one has their, their standard uh, float Evol, which is extra volume air spring, which is gonna give you a similar level of initial stroke plushness. And then this one has the um, Grip 2 damper in it, which has just a little bit more adjustability than the RockShox. It's got a high, high and low speed compression adjustment, and then it also has high and low speed rebound adjustment. So unlike the RockShox, this actually has a pretty unique feature. It has these lower leg bleed ports. And what these do is if you're going up and down an elevation a lot, so a lot of riders who you know drive up to the mountains to ride and then come back down, the pressure change in that will actually cause air to build up in the lowers of the fork. And what these do is allow you to, you just push them and it's gonna bleed any extra air out of that lower, which is gonna give you a more supple initial stroke. Um, the other thing to point out is the dual rebound adjust on here, a high and low speed rebound. Uh, rebound's really important because if you don't set it up properly, your fork's gonna feel like a pogo stick. And it's really gonna feel unstable and it's feel like it's bouncing all over the place. So having a dual rebound adjust on here is gonna give you just that more adjustability to fine tune it to your own riding style. Lastly, let's talk about wheels. Wheels are going to be the most noticeable upgrade you can do to your bike but they often cost the most. So we're gonna look at a couple different options here. This is gonna be the Industry 9 Enduro 305 wheel set. This is going to be what we here at Competitive Cyclists believe to be the best aluminum wheel that you can get. These are handmade in Asheville, North Carolina. What makes these unique is that they have a proprietary aluminum spoke, which is different than a traditional steel spoke that you're gonna get on most other wheels. Uh, the pluses of that is that they are a little bit lighter weight, but the main plus is that they are very, very laterally stiff, so that wheel isn't gonna flex very much side to side, which is gonna give you really precise steering. This also has Industry 9's uh, cutting edge free hub in it, which is called Hydra. This is gonna give you a half a degree of engagement between engagement points in your rear hub. So the benefits of that are specifically with climbing. If you're going up any sort of techie uphill and you have to kind of stop and reset your pedals and then get going again, uh, there's gonna be very, very little time between you pushing down on the pedals and that rear wheel engaging and pushing you forwards. Now, we're gonna take a look at a carbon wheel. Benefits of carbon with mountain are number one, it is gonna be more resistant to impact. So uh, carbon will bend and then spring back, whereas aluminum typically just bends and then stays like that. Um, and then also you're gonna get a little bit more vibration dampening because this is effectively a fiber as opposed to aluminum, which is a, which is a solid material. Uh, these We Are One unions are handmade in Canada. So these are hand laid in Canada, so they're not made overseas, which is really awesome. They're also laced together in Canada. This particular wheel set is laced to the Onyx Vesper hub. This is a really unique free hub design. They claim instant engagement on this one. Um, and it's a sprag clutch design. So instead of having paws that spring into place on a ratchet, they actually have a bunch of uh, kind of little teeth that will uh, press down on a cylinder inside here, which is what engages the hub. The benefits of that is that this hub is completely silent when you're rolling. So it's gonna be really nice uh, if you like that really quiet ride out of your mountain bike. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little something about how to make your riding experience a little bit better. If you have any questions, reach out to a gearhead today.